Hey buddy, welcome to That's Good Sports. I'm here with Taurine Nixon. Torian. Is it Taurine? Taurine Nixon. See, yeah. what I do on my show is I guess players' names. Yeah. And yeah. then when professionals mm -hmm. mispronounce names, I, I call them call out. Call them out for it. Hey. But I'm not a professional. No. It's as you good. can tell. Well, do, right. as, do as you say, not as you do. Right. right. And, yeah. and JJ, what's your last name? Lane. Lane. So yeah, now I should have asked that before the interview started. From the Bachelor, Bachelorette? Bachelorette, Bachelor in Paradise. Yeah, I mean, really um, esteemed programs. Right. So you were on Paradise. I was on Paradise. Is that as crazy as it looks? Uh, it can be crazy for those of us that uh, want, I mean, no girls like me on Paradise, so <laughs> I had a very bland experience. Right. You know, I, I was not oh, seen on like the night vision cameras crawling in bed with a female. Right. Um, I was seen on That's probably a camera. Good Very good. It was intentional. I didn't want to have that on. Right. How long were you on the Paradise one? Because that's fresh in my mind because my wife and my mom love that show. Yeah, unfortunately, I was on the one a year ago. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, so, so you're old last news. summer. Yeah, I mean, sadly enough, you thought you had a bigger star than you did, and now, I mean, essentially, like. That's okay. I got a football up. player here. Hey. What's going on with you right now? All right. Um, just practice, man. Practice, practice and you know, getting everybody ready for these games. That's how right. I look at it. I look at it. It's um, it's actually a great life, man. You know, I've I've been blessed to be here. You know what I mean? Being with the Denver Broncos, got to win a Super Bowl last year. You know, going a year two, starting off four and zero. Oh, it's amazing. Right. They the Broncos didn't win a Super Bowl before they drafted you. You know, recently. Yeah. Do you do you ever take credit for it? Um, I don't take too much credit. I for it, you. you know. <laughs> Like I, I take credit in my in, in my household. You know what I mean. I don't right. I don't take um, <laughs> credit publicly. <laughs> well, you're <laughs> a, a humble a, man. I yeah, mean. yeah, very humble. You know what I mean. So, um, into talking to you today, you know what I mean. I right. take like very little credit, very little. Credit. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, because you, um, Trevor Simeon mm -hmm. and Furman, Josh Furman. Oh, that's right, yeah. Josh. Okay. Yeah. So you guys, it was one, two, three in a row, right? Yeah, three in a row. Yeah. Um, do you, uh, you and Simeon, have any connections being drafted at the same time there, or? Um, hopefully, I'm hoping this connection goes like it is. Like he first, so he's getting his opportunity this year. Right. So hopefully, I come in the second. So you know, hey, I'm, I'm just you know trying to see how it's going to weigh out. You know, um, for, first, unfortunately, we don't have um Furman anymore. Right. So you know, it's like a one, two thing. So um. Actually, me and, me and Trey was talking about this like two weeks ago. So hopefully it plays out like that. What's, what's been the toughest thing about jumping into the, the NFL? Um, the toughest thing probably has been, um, I want to say camp. camp. Camp is pretty tough. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, it's not tough as in like the practice and everything like that. It's just tough as in the long days and then the fans every morning. Like, right. No one in Denver works. So it's like having an audience <laughs> every day so it's like it's crazy it's like you have to play your full game every day because so these fans these are blogging watching, watching right. instagramming twittering everything that's going on at there's never any privacy thank you yes, for reminding me i don't have a job because we met at camp yeah we did you know, so <laughs> i met i met the famous jj at camp man like this this is amazing so yeah at this <laughs> point i think what people would rather see is you interviewing jj Oh, that's well, you just ask him a few weird. questions. Go and, back and forth. And, and, yeah, I'll just I'll just go over, over somewhere else. We finally got the 17 year old boy. Thing out of <laughs> way. So as y'all know, I'm sitting here with JJ from the Bachelorette. Um, what tips do you give to the single man in Denver? I would say the the really the only tip I have is either go on the Bachelorette or be a Bronco. Okay. You know, otherwise, you know, you're in Denver. I mean, you really have. You're not going to stand out at all. Uh, I mean, uh, have you experienced this? I mean, it's a bad town to be a single guy. In. <laughs> I've, I've heard that the member jokes since I've been here, and it's pretty funny to me. You know, I'm, I'm from Louisiana. There's a lot of women in Louisiana. So coming to Denver, it's, it was a little different. Okay, so where would you tell a guy to hang out in Denver? Like, what part? I've heard Cherry Creek, you know, mm -hmm. here in downtown, you know, here, like, different types of part different parts of Denver to hang out in you know if you're totally a, different scenes yeah too. yeah I mean I'd say for guys like you and I like okay. I'd say probably Cherry Creek or the Highlands okay the Highlands. I think I think downtown's a tough place for you know single guys <clears throat> you know especially you know with us kind of discerning you know I for okay. women okay um, what do you think 
Um, well, I'm in the Cherry Creek area, and every time I tell people, I'm like, yeah, I live in Cherry Creek, they say I live in Cougarville. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's new to me, you know what I mean? I've never lived in a Cougarville before, but it's actually pretty cool, you know what I mean? I, I go. It's very Cougar. Uh, yeah, well, you know, it's, that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Like I say, it's, I, I go to Second Home. I like Second oh, Home. I was going to say, that's going to be the spot. Yeah, yeah. so, you know, um, DeMarcus. The markets turned me on to Second Home. It's a pretty good place, you know. Like every everywhere in Cherry Creek is pretty cool. You so. hit up Elway's for the ladies' night. Yeah, I, I heard of that. I haven't been yet. You know what I mean? Um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go there. I heard it's pretty cool in the summer too, like around that OTAs time. Oh, so yeah. you know, it's like everybody go there for live music, then go to Second Home for later. You know, so. No, I'm trying to learn it. You know what I mean. I'm I'm the, I'm the young kid over here, so it's like I'm trying to get used to this older lifestyle. Do you get discounts if you go to LA's? Do, do <laughs> players get discounts at LA's? That's a great um, question. Honestly, I don't think so. <laughs> and um, yeah, the the Airways over here. Honestly, a lot of the players don't stay over here, so like I don't think that a lot of the players, you know, come over here to Airways. Right. You know, unless it's the event Elway has going on at Elway's, you know. So it's 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 it's, it's like when you when you leave, you don't want to go to another place where your boss is. Well, right? it could be it could be good and it could be bad. You, you don't right. you never know. It's depending on how the night is going to turn out. So um, yeah, like I've been to Elway's, you know, one time, and I, I like the food. What's Elway. your favorite restaurant in town? Um, have to be North. I like North. I'm. My my parents never really cooked chicken parm growing up, so I feel like they have the best chicken parm in the city. You know, so I've been doing this chicken parm documentary right now. <laughs> and, you know, this is what I hear YouTube soon. <laughs> chicken parm documentary on your Snapchat? Are you snapping your adventures yeah, of yeah. chicken parm? Yeah, I, I snap. I snap every. I'm, I'm trying to snap everything. You know, like my life is a kind of kind of kind of fun. You know, what I mean, I like. I don't like to show off though, so I try to take a lot of those. Snaps back, you know, like hanging with Peter, hanging with JJ. You're like, I can't put this on Snapchat because then my following might, you know, get pretty mad at me because I'm hanging with such cool people. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you are so flattering. Man, let's just be clear. My mom, I wasn't, my mom didn't even like me on the show. So, you know, you don't have to like, but you, know, nah, man. you know, mothers want, <laughs> mother, mothers want their kids to go out and find this lovely lady at church or you know at the grocery store at whole food you know i, I honestly found out whole food is the best place to go for lunch that's what all the really women, yeah so that's that's a, that's a tip whole foods tomorrow i'll see you guys whole food ladies 12 30 tomorrow <laughs> i won't be there jj will be there um they say they say any of them they say it's like that lunch spot you know healthy crave lunch you know people love that spot i feel like you could go to the Whole Foods in Dubuque, Iowa, and it's gonna be. It's probably like every hot chick in Iowa. Is yeah, be it's there. gonna be there. You know, it's this new health kick that I've learned since I've been in Denver because I'm from the South where everything right. is fried. So, so, so coming here is like everything's healthy. So I'm trying to transition. Trying so to I transition. got a question about Broncos defense. So okay. I mean, you're a cornerback, right? Mm -hmm. Part of the no fly zone. Part of no fly. Um, I've got a buddy who's not a Bron. He's a Pats fan. Okay. And he told me yesterday. He goes. Yeah, I mean, what what the defense is doing, it's unprecedented. They're due for a total letdown, and somebody's going to put up 45 on them or something like that. Ooh. And I don't think – I mean, tell me, what's your take on that? 45, that's – Or even 30, let's say. You know, we're trying to we're trying to stay undefeated this year, so um, I, I just don't see that happening. We – Chris Harris, Tlaib, Roby, you know, they brought in the new guys. Will Parks playing a lot. You know, Justin playing a lot. Um, you know, we have Kayvon coming in, you know, it's just it's just a lot of people that's that's hungry. And once you once you become a part of this no fly zone, then it's like you, you, when you get in, it's like one of those things where you have to hold down the fort and we, we, we don't like to give up. And like I say, we don't like to let Wade down and the rest of our coaching staff. You know, we have a great coaching staff and you know, these guys, you know, put a lot of work in us being a no fly zone on Sundays. So, you know, we, we, we definitely don't wanna let our team down and let the, you know, let Denver down and you know 40 points 30 points you know I I, I just don't see that happening this year you know what I mean no one's like, really that, getting more than seven right now yeah right? yeah we're, we're trying to shit quarterbacks out and we ha we're having fun doing it so it's like it's one of those things that we're going to keep it going you know like to leave last week two picks you know what I mean like 
God, dog, Chris Harris week before pick. You know, it's like it's these guys are hungry for the ball. Will Parks pick, you know, last you know last week. So it's like it's everybody's here is like hungry for that ball, and you know we, we have fun doing it. And you know I'm just happy to be a part of it. When when you're out there, what like when you look at Talib or or Harris, you know. What do you see from them athletically that you admire, that you want to like put into your own game, or that you've learned from them? Just watching them, talent wise. Yeah, play? yeah. Um, actually, Chris Harris. I feel like Chris Harris may be one of the best tackling corners I've ever seen. Like Chris Harris come up on tight ends, running backs, you know, receivers. Like, and he he makes really nice tackles. It's not like a shoot and hope really I make the tackle. You know what I mean? Right. He makes very good tackles. You know what I mean? And you go to um, you know, along with the rest of his game, you know, he he could jam off the line. He could run with anybody. He he's one of the best slots. You know, it's, it's hard to play in the slot because it's more field to cover from the slot. And like I say, he he's one of those guys that could get in that spot and like really hold it down. And then to leave, man, to leave to me just plays like a pro. You know, he's plays like he's been in the NFL for you know a long time. You know, and 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 you could see it in his movements. You know what I mean? It's like you would think that he's lagging off. You think that he's playing soft coverage, and he's actually playing for them to bait and throw that ball that they think is open. You know what I mean? And and that's just one of those things that I think can come with years and just you know athletic ability. And I think that he has it along with his you know height and wingspan and things like that. So. You know, next thing for the Broncos to do is, you know, get J.J. out there. And I think, yeah. you know, once he become a part of No Fly Zone, we'll have, you know, we already have a lot of women following, but I think that'll take it to the next level. It, I'm happy you said that. I've kind of been thinking that, but I didn't want to kind of toot my own horn. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. I think J.J. could actually hold Julio Jones for less than 300 yards. I understand. Well, I, I did in fantasy last week, and I kind of <laughs> take a lot of credit for that. You know, I played him in two leagues, and he had one catch for 19 yards. I take a lot of credit for that. Um, and I was mentally jamming him off the line. I got in his head space a lot. Um, I had a condo in his head. I had so much real estate up there. Yeah, but hey, um, that's how it's supposed to be, man. <laughs> True lockdown corner right here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've always kind of viewed myself, you know, mentally as kind of a middle linebacker, you know, just based on my size, as you can tell. Um, but I could play a little corner. Yeah, yeah, no big deal. I definitely see that. <laughs> I definitely see that happening real soon. You know, we're going to bring JJ in for the um, for the no fly zone tryout, and you know, I, I'm putting I'm putting I'm putting my marbles on. <laughs> we should run it through uh, like uh, some cone drills and stuff. Oh, I think it would be a some, some defense, it would be that's hilarious. Yeah, attacks. that's 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 show two. We, yeah, we're, we're and, yeah let, let me try and t- like you know Chris Harris is a great tackler. Let me actually just see what it's like. You know, right. Virgil Green coming through yeah. and I've got to tackle him. Yeah, that's 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 a, that's a, that's a lot of it's <laughs> a lot of person, man. It, that's that, that dude. That dude's pretty big, man. I did, I have two quick questions. Um, when you guys are doing your, your your drills, why do you put those goggles on? What okay. do the goggles do? Um, it's it's kind of like one of those things where like, okay, if if you're sitting here right now, like I'm I'm sitting here right now, but I can see Peter's over there doing something. You know what I mean? I can see that a football game is on this TV and it's like a commercial on this TV, just looking straight. You know what I mean? So you're peripheral, okay. and those goggles like limit you. You know, it's kind of like harsh blinders, like kind of right. like make a harsh stare straight down. So if if our coach is teaching us to you know read that left hip. Those goggles are focusing us right on that left hip. We can't oh, see wow. outside of that. You know what I mean? So so now when you're backpedal, backpedal, you'll be looking at the quarterback when you'll be looking at the hip. Now you can't even see the quarterback. So now you have to focus right on those hips. So it helps you like transition out breaks better and just, you know, limit your focus. You know what I mean? Because a lot of a lot of times when, you know, corners give up big plays is because their eyes are not in the right in the right place. And I've 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 known from experience when those eyes you know, drift drift off. Yeah, and uh, next thing you know, da na na, da na na. So you know, (laughs) (laughs) you try to limit, you try to limit those. You know, you you try to limit those days. What's the the defensive backs coach? Oh, Joe Joe Woods. Joe Woods is he? He's what? I I was at training camp, and it seems like he's one of the cooler coaches out there. Like I hear a lot of other coaches (laughs) yelling all the time. The defensive backs coach, he didn't seem to be yelling. You guys seem to have more fun back there. Yeah. trust you he knows he doesn't need to scream at you yeah. all the time yeah well i'm not gonna lie to you i think if it was just like me and lorenzo and the will parks and the justin and the, all those people that was young in the game 
and was young in the game, I think he would have a little more fuss <laughs> for us. But being that you have a pro bowler, pro bowler, first round pick, you know, Kayvon, which played a lot of a lot of downs in the league, you know what I mean? So it, it kind of gives you that that it kind of gives you that that freedom to like be a little bit more, you know, calm as a coach. You know what right. I mean? So um, yeah, but like Joe Woods is one of the one of the one of the cooler coaches on the team, and you know we we love him back there with us because like I said, he. He's chill when we're doing what we're supposed to do. Now he has those days where he he'll go a little in, but you know we try to keep those to the meeting rooms. What? Yeah, y'all don't get to see that. Those pillows appropriate. Uh, oh yeah. Let's get it. Okay, hold on, Russ, get in this shot. This says a lot. This is good for the girls. The girls. Okay, yeah. that's the girls part. Uh, of it. We call those nectar collectors. Nectar collectors. <laughs> So, you know, keep coming back. You just witnessed the beginning of what I'm assuming will be a nationally syndicated podcast, simulcast with video. Yeah. Um, so the Dan Patrick Show should, should watch the hell out for us. Uh, really, I'm sitting between two guys I, I wish I was. They, com <laughs> they complete me. <laughs> Have the skills to play in the NFL and the looks to be on The Bachelor. We're speaking is, of Rusty, not me, right? Either one, you know. <laughs> Uh, and so th thanks for watching another great episode of That's Good Sports. Can, can you guys say That's Good Sports? That's, That's Good, good sports. sports. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Hey, it's coming soon. Someday. <laughs> <laughs>